I'm Coop, this is my Straven 2.0 with an integrated Nerf Magnus. Um, so I'll go over the internal mods to paint job and then show you it firing. Starting with the primary operating blaster, which is the Strife here. The internal mods include, I took out the electronic and mechanical locks, I re-lubricated the magazine release and the trigger, so that's super smooth. I've also filed down and modified the trigger so it's just a little bit more smooth. I have not motor replaced it or done anything intense like that but I did take out the thermistor so I can run it on uh, more power, which I'm running on three truss fires plus one dummy battery. In the back here, I've integrated a Raven. I dubbed this a Straven because it's a Raven and a Strife. You just com um, combine those names and it turns into Straven. This is the second time I've done this um, modification, this integration. Um, it is done in a very similar fashion, but the back here is moved a slightly further back, um, which allows this thumb hole to be a little bit bigger. To do this integration, I cut down the shell with my bandsaw, and then I adhered it with super glue and hot glue for the initial bond. Then I also have liquid epoxy, JB Weld, and epoxy putty holding the shell together. Um, while holding the shells together, both of them combined. Um, I did this very similar method last time. It's very stable. I've integrated shells numerous times, so I know this is going to work. The alignment is great. Everything's straight. Um, happy with the integration. I won't be making a tutorial on how to integrate these blasters uh, because like three people would actually use it and that's really not worth it. I wouldn't recommend risking your blasters unless you know you can do it uh, because it's a $30 Raven and a $20 Strife and if you mess it up or you screw up your alignment it's going to look trashy um, and that's $50 down the drain so please know what you're doing before you try it. If you do risk it and you break stuff don't blame me. That's really why I avoid the tutorials like that because a lot of it's really hard to explain with words because it's just getting a feel for it, aligning it all, and having the patience to do it properly. I'm very happy with the integration. Um, I did this last time, so I'm very happy with the Raven Strife integration. I really like it. I think it looks cool. It's comfortable. It's really not practical because it's not doing anything for the performance of the blaster. It's just making it larger, but it looks cool and it's very comfortable. Um, and you have another magazine very quickly um, accessible. So that's it for the back bit. Up here is a Mega Magnus, which is the new Mega Blaster that shoots these giant darts um, integrated into a retaliator front barrel. This is detachable um, based on the in-strike attachment point. I did have to modify the strife, so this doesn't actually go onto any strife. It's not, it wouldn't fit, it's a little too tight. Um, I did have to trim down this rail for that to work, so this rail no longer accepts attachments, but in my opinion, that's definitely worth it because it's a very, very tight fitting integration now, and it's very slim and it looks, in my opinion, very nice. The Magnus almost looks like it's designed to fit the Retaliator, as you can see here. I didn't actually have to cut any of this. I just glued it on, um, which is very helpful as a modder. It almost looks like it's designed to work like this. All I had to do was cut down the handle um, and just zip that through my dance on, no problem there. This is adhered with solvent weld, JB weld, and a little bit of epoxy putty. I'm sorry, uh, liquid epoxy, not epoxy putty. It's a very stable integration, and because it's lined up on the rails, it's almost impossible to screw up. So it's perfectly aligned side to side and with elevation. No modifications to the Magnus that will be in the future. That's just an unmodified Magnus right now. It's performing pretty, um, it shoots pretty hard though. I did have to externally modify the slide, as you can see. So now when you prime the Magnus, it goes around the magazine. Because of this mech, um, this does not allow you to use drum magazines. If you wanted to use a drum, you would have to take off the front barrel attachment and then use it just with the back bit. That's worth it in my opinion. Um, I don't really like drums. They're bulky, they're hard to store, and they're really not practical. 18 round stick mags are pretty much the best magazines. Most HV's ears or people who frequently play with stock blasters, stock nerf darts at least, will agree with that statement uh, because you can store a bunch of them in a vest or pouches or whatever. Operating and loading the magazine, I'm sorry, the Magnus, is not particularly difficult. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but the Magnus in stock form takes a little bit of getting used to because loading the little lips on the top is a little bit weird. Doing it upside down makes it a little bit weirder, but I'm um, priming it back and you can just um, feed up into that. It's not very difficult at all. It only holds three darts, so it's not particularly practical. Um, I did this integration mostly for the walls. I haven't seen it done before, and I think it looks pretty cool. And for games like Defend the Core, um, where you have to score points, like an elite dart and a stepping dart would be one point, and sometimes a bigger dart, like a mega, an arrow, or a ball, would be assigned a different point value. So if you shot a mega dart, maybe it would count as 1.5 or maybe two points. Um, so it would be cool for that application if you get real close to the core to be able to pop in a few rounds for some extra point scorage. But again, it's not the most practical thing. It adds a lot of size, um, weight, and it sort of, it doesn't make it front heavy, but it makes it front heavier than it would be without it, obviously. Um, this is obviously more easy to wield or easier wield, um, but it does look cool. Um, it's fun to use, and it, again, it's just intimidating and something fun to do. <laughs>
two mega darts right now. So you can see the Mega Magnus is shooting about the stock ranges because it wasn't internally modified. The slide modification didn't affect the performance at all. The Strife is shooting really hard though. Uh, most of that's coming from the upgrade to batteries, but the unrestricted circuit internally is allowing to get the, the most out of those batteries. Um, I'm very happy with the performance of the Strife. The Retaliator barrel does decrease the velocity and the consistency or the accuracy of the Strife just a little bit just because that stupid barrel is too small. Um, and I didn't bore it out for this particular integration because it would have been a lot of time for something that's really not war practical anyways, um, and it destroys the appearance of the blaster. But still overall, I think it performs quite well. Um, I'm very happy with the, the voltage ramp strife. You can't really complain about that. Again, the Raven doesn't have any internal function um, as far as firing darts, so that doesn't really affect the strife at all. Going over the paint job, uh, they started with a black vinyl by primer. Surprise, surprise, I haven't done that before. Just kidding, I do that all the time. And then I have a dark gray vinyl dye base coat over everything. Um, and then I have Citadel Screamer Pink. This is labeled pink even though it's purple. Um, I think it looks cool. It's a Screamer Pink by uh, um, Citadel again. And then I did dry brushing all over with Abaddon Black, which sort of toned everything down. Mm -hmm. And then I did um, weaker dry brushing with Testor Silver. This is a very similar technique that I used in my Bandit Rifle, the red Rapid Strike with black and silver dry brushing. I think it looks really cool. I know a lot of people don't like my dry brushing because it's not realistic at all, but I think it looks really cool, very battle-worn, um, and just a unique look that I really like. I also have very small um, Citadel Lothar and Blue details, very small. I'd actually be surprised if you could see them. I do have photographs, link in the description box to that album if you want to see them, um, which will probably show that blue. I finished the paint job with a Duplicolor matte, paint, uh, matte clear coat sorry, to dull out the paint even further and to protect it from the normal wear and tear. I'm very happy with the modification, but unfortunately I don't actually nerf much anymore, so this is for sale, along with some other blasters. Link in the description box to my web store where you can purchase this. That concludes the Straven 2.0 video. Uh, thanks for watching.